yeah, luckily, I think for the most part, we're staying healthy here, but we got to be careful. Are your parents here? Uh, no, they'll, they'll be here Saturday, though. They'll be here Saturday. Yeah. Okay, so just the fact that there's no... No fans. Nothing right. Like, yeah. Right. I remember at these practices, I don't know if it matters as much, but it's must be crossing your mind. Yeah. What would it be like to have your spring game with no fans? That'd be, it'd be interesting. I honestly feel bad for those sports. Baseball games, um, you know, the lacrosse games, they can't have fans either. And luckily, it's we're not in the middle of our season, so it's not impacting us as much. Um, but, you know, I really feel for those sports. What about March Madness? You know, not being able to show for, for like, say you the Final Four. Yeah, that's crazy. I <laughs> Again, I feel very fortunate that we're in fall sports. We don't have to deal with that, but again, I feel for those sports. All right. What are you anticipating for your season as you, as you look ahead your next season? I'm just really excited. You know, we return a lot of pieces. Um, you know, I love our scheme that we run, and defensively, it was fun to see our guys go out and compete today. And, you know, I was really looking forward to building on today. How are you feeling around you guys? How's your, your communication? How are you feeling in the system? Really good. You know, um, I love playing for Coach Harrell, and, you know, I spent so much time with him last summer. You know, I went into the office every day to, to watch film and kind of build experience when I couldn't practice. So I um, spent a lot of time around him, and I think uh, that kind of helps our relationship. And, you know, when you have that relationship, it really helps on the field because, um, you know, when he's calling a play, you're kind of thinking that you're, on the, you're on the same page to a certain extent. How'd you do holding the mic? I think I did okay. You, what do you think? <laughs> Thank, you. Thank I you. I don't know. I'll talk about how, how the defensive coaches have brought a lot of energy. Yeah. To this football program. Can you just expand on that? Your, your thoughts on that? Yeah. No, they're they're awesome. Um, and you know, as an offense guy, you think you wouldn't, you, I wouldn't interact with them so often, but they they're all all over the place. They don't care offense, defense. When you're in the weight room, you know, you're a Trojan, and they're they're coaching you up and bringing that juice. So it, you love to see it, and um, it's great because I think our offensive staff brings a lot of energy too, and to see them uh, kind of matches is a lot of fun. Were you feeling that before? You know. I, Right when they were hired, or are you just kind of noticing that out here now? Right? Yeah, the day the day we, we we got introduced, Coach Orlando, you know, he gets to talk to the team and he wants everyone to hug each other up and give each other a paw. He says so. That was that was fun, and it kind of just told you like what, what type of guy he is and, and how he's gonna bring a lot of energy to the program. Is that the kind of encouragement that you really work well with personally? Yeah, I think it's important to get you know guys excited to play. Coach Harold is saying you know the most excited team wins and. You know, he's 100 right. If there's one sideline that's bounced up and down. They're they're most likely gonna gonna come out with a victory because they're playing excited, they're having fun, and they're loose. So, um, you know, it'll be excited to see you know our team kind of match that enthusiasm. What do you think of the intensity in those DB wide receiver one on one? Uh, I was only there for the second half of it, but it was it was pretty good to see. You know, I got a little chippy over here during uh, seven on two. So, uh, you love to see it. And you know, as long as guys are going hard and competing every day, that's all you can ask for, uh, especially in spring ball when you're going against your teammates. Initial thoughts on those young receivers and what you know, even guys like Kyle Ford and Brew, you got a little bit of practice with last right. season, can, can add to this offense. Yeah, they're they're all really special, and that's you know, everyone talks about the receivers in this offense, and you know, deservedly so. They're they're really special, and you know, today Gary and Josh both made great catches and great plays, and Brew and Kyle come out and continue to do what they do, and um, it's, it'll be really exciting to see their development. Yeah. Initially difficult to grasp that you guys really got locked in for those last two or four weeks of the season that you just talked about over there. And what's the biggest difference? You know now, you didn't know last year. Yeah, I think the biggest thing in the air raid is there's a lot of little nuances to the offense. Um, most of it is spatial awareness, and um, I think that's the biggest thing. So it talks about feeling grass all the time as a quarterback. Um, you have to, if there's a big hole of grass in the middle, you have to sense that, but also the deep, the receiver at the same time kind of has to feel that and kind of sit in that window or feel it and uh, throttle in that window. So I think that's a big part of it. Um, and again, there were times early in the season last year where we, we would do that, but also um, it wasn't as consistent as it is now. Now it's, especially with the guys that have been here for a while, um, you're kind of just you're on the same page with them. So it's not as it's it's grasping the system, but it's also sort of building the chemistry with your wide receivers. To an extent, yeah. You guys and, gotta think the same way. Yeah, exactly. Um, and again, that, that comes with reps. We we're talking about one of the plays we run. We weren't very good last year, but coach is saying we need to get more reps out of it. We'll be really good. Right. Um, and so I think a lot of that, but also a lot of it too is um, just as a quarterback, just trust in the system. And if you trust the system and go to your reach, you're gonna you're gonna find the open guy and be successful. Where you get in trouble is when you don't trust the system, you start guessing, and that's, that's when you start making mistakes.